Welcome back to Lab Cyber. In today's video, I want to introduce you to a very useful tool called Panopticlick, which I found out about a few days ago. And this is a tool that was developed by the Electronic Frontier Foundation, the EFF. Now, this is a foundation that fights against the invasion of online privacy by social media companies, ad companies, and so on. So what Panopticlick does is that it will go through your browser and tell you whether your browser is doing a good job of protecting you and ensuring your privacy while you're using the internet. Now, there is something here called your browser fingerprint. Your browser fingerprint is basically the information that websites would use to identify who you are. This data makes up things like your screen resolution, maybe you're visiting the website on your mobile phone or on your desktop. Information like the kind of operating system you're running, maybe you're running Windows or Mac or Linux or Android and so on. The kind of browser, obviously, that you're running, uh, the kinds of plugins that you have installed in your browser and so much more. So all this data constitutes your fingerprint. So when you have a unique fingerprint and you visit a website, that website can tell who you are just by your fingerprint. And our browsers are meant to protect us by ensuring that our fingerprint isn't unique, but actually randomized. So what Panopticlick does is that it will go through your browser and tell you how well or how badly of a job your browser is actually doing. Now, if you go to pbtest.org and you clicked on the test me link right here, you're actually going to get an error message. It's going to tell you that the link isn't protected or you might even just get straight up a 404 page uh, error not found. So one thing you could do is I'm not sure if this is maybe like a bug or something like that. You could just go to coveryourtracks.eff.org and then right in here, just click on test your browser. Now, I am currently running this test on Google Chrome. This is the Google Chrome browser that you're currently looking at right now. So what Panopticlick is doing behind the scenes is checking all my settings, my privacy settings, my security settings on my Google Chrome browser and it's going to tell me whether or not Chrome is actually protecting me and ensuring my privacy while I use Chrome to solve the internet. And of course, you can see right now we've gotten the result. It says, I am not protected against tracking on the web. I, is Chrome blocking tracking ads? No. Is it blocking invisible trackers? No. What about my fingerprint? My browser actually has a unique fingerprint. And if I was to scroll down here, it says that your browser fingerprint appears to be unique among the 169,730 tested in the past 45 days. What this means is that out of almost 170,000 other browsers out there on the internet, my own fingerprint is unique. That's really, really bad because now social media companies, ad companies, websites, they can know who I am easily because my fingerprint is that unique. Now, I've actually run this test on, on two other browsers. The second one here being the Brave browser and no surprise, it says that my Brave browser has a strong protection against web tracking. No big surprise there at all. It's one of the reasons why I've always recommended Brave as the very best uh, browser to use online. Now, if I was to scroll down in here, it says that my fingerprint has been randomized among 169,588. So my fingerprint is random. Right, so that can confuse social media companies. Social media companies are not companies. They don't know who I am because my fingerprint is randomized. Now, I ran this te same test again on a third browser, which is Mozilla Firefox. This was a bit surprising because Mozilla Firefox is actually quite good when it comes to ensuring your privacy online. But it told me that I have some protection against web tracking, but it also has some gaps. So blocking tracking ads and invisible trackers by Firefox is partial. And it says that my fingerprint is nearly unique. So by default, Firefox doesn't do that great of a job. It's much better, of course, uh, than Google Chrome, no doubt about that. So what this means right now is that I can either decide to completely ditch Google Chrome and just stick with using uh, Firefox or Brave, or one thing I could do, like for example, in your case, if you love using Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using, one thing you could always do is that you could go to the settings for your browser. In this case, right now with Chrome, I could come in here to settings. I could go to privacy and security, and I could try tweaking quite a few things in here just to see if I can improve the default state of the Google Chrome. Once I've made those changes, I can go back again to Panopticlick, run the test one more time and see whether there's been an improvement. And if there's not been an improvement, 
I can just go with Brave Browser and stick with Brave Browser or maybe even uh, Mozilla Firefox. So that's it for Panoptic Click. I would highly recommend that you run this tool on your browser. Just open up any browser, go to coveryourtracks.eff.org, run the test and you'll get the results, okay? And again, keep in mind that this is a useful tool if you're very, very serious about ensuring your privacy uh, online. Going back to the whole uh, browser fingerprinting, in the very next video on this channel, which will be out, the next video will be out in, in a couple of days, I'm going to make a very special video dedicated talking about browser fingerprinting in full detail. So be sure that you're subscribed and hit the bell so they're notified once I upload that new tutorial. My name is Alex, it's been a pleasure. If this is the first time here on the channel, welcome to Lab Cyber. I try to make cyber security very, very easy for people to understand. So please subscribe, hit the bell so they're notified. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button. And of course, share the video with anyone who may feel my benefit. If you have any questions, comments about Panopticlick, of course, put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer as many of them as soon as I possibly can. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.